Guys, so our game of the week this week is the battle of the two unbeatens, Mingo and Scott. Tonight I caught up with both squads to see how they're preparing for the big matchup Friday night. Mingo Central versus Scott. The battle of the two unbeatens happens this Friday night. We knew what we could be um, if we all put it together and they all just bought into what we was trying to do. We knew what we could do and you know it's showing. This is the first year as head coach of Mingo for Kentucky football alum and Mingo native David Jones. The key thing about these guys are very unselfish and I love it because they don't care who get the accolades or who get this, who get that. They literally root for each other. Even though there's a newer face at the head of the program, the chemistry between the guys is nothing new because of the adversity they've gone through together since the seniors were freshmen. They went through a rough patch and for them to be able to have this success come their senior year, it's just been phenomenal. And that's what we're most excited about. Mingo was one of the hardest hit areas during COVID. The color coded map forced the miners to cut their season short. They were only allowed to play three games that year. Where we got our freshman year cut short and all that happened because of COVID, we feel like it's like a burn burning sensation in our heart to be able to stand here with this record. It's just so amazing. Everybody else could attest for it. It's just the greatest feeling we could know. We've had a lot of up and downs through the year and we just learned to overcome it, work together and get better each day. And they have now standing here with a 5-0 and record, getting ready to face another 5-0 and team. Uh, anytime you're playing a team that's undefeated and, and when you see the um, WVSSAC rankings come out and you're four, they're five, uh, you know, you see the points um, scored and the points allowed. We're the number one double A team uh, as far as scoring. They're the number one double A team as far as allowing points. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a good matchup and something's going to have to give on Friday night. The Scott Skyhawks are on a mission this year and they say sitting here halfway through the season still undefeated doesn't come as a surprise. It was an expectation that the whole team had going into the season. We were this record last year and I think it's something we expected to be at and we just want to keep it that way. The expectation now is to go farther than that and hopefully go to Wheeling. It's not just make it to playoffs anymore. Scott has their biggest test yet this Friday night. Both teams excited to go to battle. I'm going to tell them to keep their head up. Scott's a good team, but we're also good. It'll be a dog fight, but I feel like we can come out on top. They have a lot of athletes, so it's really going to come down to what team makes the least amount of mistakes and what team prepared better and plays a better game. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock. Tune in Friday night at 11 for all your tri-state area highlights in the Friday night sports zone.